everyone. I hope you all are doing well today. We are doing just fine over here. So today I wanted to hop on here quickly and share a quick tip for anyone who might be just diving into learning the names of the alphabet, or maybe you're diving into phonics and starting to learn letter sounds. Or maybe you're having a hard time um, with letter recognition. So the tip that I want to share with you all is when you are learning um, any of these things that I mentioned, you don't want to, or rather you should avoid showing the letter A with say an image of an apple. And I know this is pretty, this comes with almost every flashcard that you buy out there. There's a little bit of extra fluff on there. <laughs> So we like to think that if I show the letter A with an apple, it's gonna help the child recognize that the letter A is A and it goes with apple. But actually when you're starting to learn how to read and you're beginning phonics and learning or just beginning letter recognition, you wanna try to avoid doing that because it can actually cause a delay in learning because it's confusing. Um, so if you're just starting to learn the alphabet names, Try to just find a pair of flashcards or a um, pile of flashcards that have just A as the letter A. Just boring flashcards. I know sometimes that can be hard because a lot of children activities and educational toys and stuff like that do come with a lot of fluff, right? To make it look exciting and to try and draw the child's attention to um, the card. But actually, something that we think we're doing to try and grasp their, um, their attention can actually um, be harmful in the long run. So um, this is actually something that I did with all three of my children. And um, all three of them learned to read by the age of around four and a half. And um, that's not entirely because we chose not to show images with flashcards. I mean, we did a whole whole lot of other activities to try and um, you know really support them and uh, their learning process learning how to read um, however I just thought this one little tip might be uh, beneficial to anybody who is just starting out you guys are just learning your alphabet or you're just learning how to read um, if you do give this a try you get rid of the fluffy stuff and just um, stick with the letter symbols and associating the letter names with the actual letter and the actual symbol of say an A or a B or whatever letter it is that you're working on. Um, let me know in the comments below because I'd love to hear what you think. Also, if you have any other tips that maybe uh, worked for you, please feel free to share them in the comments below because I would love to hear all about them. Okay. So again, I uh, hope you guys are all keeping well, and uh, hopefully I will get another video up here soon. Until next time.